Okay. Why does it say you're waiting for me? There we go. All right. I'm trying to get more room. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish, and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video, <clears throat> we're gonna play with some of these pastes that I created last night. So a uh, quick recap, we took powdered joint compound and we added different um, paint with a little bit of water and then one with water and glue. So um, I wanted to see how that will work. So let's, I'm going to move these out of my way so we can play, have some room to play. Hi, Jay. Okay, so I haven't opened these since last since I closed them last night. So hopefully they're not one big solid mass, which this one is. Okay, well, let's see what this is. Nope, this one's still good. So the glue, <laughs> glue probably needs to be used right away. So we will put that one. Yeah, I can see it. It's solid. It's, well, it's not solid. I mean, I could probably still rescue this, but I'm not going to take the time to do so. So I'm going to put some water in here and I'm going to chop it up a bit, put some water in here and see if I can't rescue it for another time, possibly tomorrow. Because it's still, it's still damp and crumbly so I think the glue might have accelerated the setup on it so let's put some water in here see this is part of being alive ah, heck. I'm just gonna pour some water in here rehydrate all of that and might be able to come back to it even tonight. Let's get it rehydrated. It was a very hot day today here. Um, well, very hot considering it's the end of September. Um, we were, I went out to my car tonight after work at 5 o'clock. It was 85 degrees. So, that's a little warm for my tastes for September. I am kind of sick of the summer heat. Of course, Talk to me come March, I'll be sick of the winter cold. All right, let's put that one aside. Okay, let me move this one too. So, let's take that off. Good golly, I got a mess. This is foam board, dollar store foam board that I just cut into pieces and I did not know this about foam board, but the paper is removable. And so we're going to remove, I already removed it from this side, so we're going to remove it from this side. And you get a little bit of texture there, but I want to see how this works. So I have a whole stack of them that the paper's already been taken off. This one, I might put a little bit, like mist some water in there just to make it a little bit. I don't know it's pretty good this would be piping consistency for royal icing okay it doesn't fall off here actually I think I'm gonna leave it this consistency but this is all the those metallics and you can at least I can see them when it's wet we'll see what happens when it dries so I grabbed just a stencil here Actually, oh, where's the what? There's one stencil that I wanted to use specifically for this big one, and now I can't find it because I set it down. 
There we go. So, I say so a lot. <laughs> I'm kind of goofy that way, I guess. It's a Minnesota thing. Don't you know? Alright, so this doesn't... I just want to use the rose part. So, see, there I go again. I'm going to put that piece there. And... Yeah, eh? <laughs> I know, I know. We're close to Canada. Don't you know, eh? I was watching Bones last night when I was trying to fall asleep. And it's the one where it's the Canadian forensic podiatrist. That's so, because it's so funny because it's so true. Because, yeah. I've only met one Canadian I didn't want to see again. So. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I, these are just, this is a old rewards card for speedy rewards for um, Super America. This is old, like, I don't even know how old. So I load up a little bit here like this. And then I just, I kind of start at the middle and go out. I try not to lift it up like I just did. And I put more down than I want to use. Because that way I can just spread it out. Just like that. And I got a chunk in there. That's okay because we're going to go like that. Okay, so I go one direction to get it on there. Clean off some of this off of here because I'm just spreading around chunks. And then we'll go the other direction. Kind of smooth it out. Go back this way. Sorry. Kind of lift it a bunch off of there. No, not a pathologist, a podiatrist. They study feet. Pathologist is like blood and stuff, if I remember correctly. Okay, I'll put a little bit right there. And yeah, I work, I, I kind of overwork it because that's me. I need to not fiddle so much. Well, you said pathologist. And he's not a pathologist, he's a podiatrist. He's the feet guy. And he's funny because he just lays into bones like in the nicest way. <laughs> okay, so I'm just wiping off the card to get it off there before it dries. Because you can clean them out, clean them off after they dry, but I kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, so here we go, moment of truth. I'm gonna lift this up. There we go. I kind of goobed on it a little bit, but where'd my towel go? Okay, so this is dirty, so I'm gonna put my towel on my leg. Okay. I'm gonna lift the tape off of there and get that out of the way. So I put my towel on my leg. And I'm trying to get the tape off without ripping the and then I take a little this is just a Lysol wipe no he was not both okay whatever I'm not gonna argue 
And then I just wipe it. I have the towel underneath my leg and I just kind of gently wipe it off. Or not underneath my leg, on my leg, underneath the stencil. There we go. All right. And you don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get most of it off. If my, if my stencils were ever perfectly clean, I'd wonder who was in my house. All right. So, itchy nose. So there's, that's the front side. And, oh, I missed a spot. That's what happens when you do it on your leg and it's kind of dark down there. Okay, I'm using the arm of the chair. <laughs> okay. Good girl. Don't call me a girl. Goofball. Okay. So, it's relatively clean. As clean as my stencils get anyway. I'm going to put that one to the side and then give you a close-up of this. You can see where I smudged it, but I'm okay with that. So, I'm just going to let this dry and we'll see what happens with the results, if we get some metallics in it or not. Okay, so this one is going to go... Oh, geez. I don't have a lot of room in here, guys. Okay, I'll put that one over there. Okay, so that was the multicolored, the kind of, what I call it, periwinkle purple. Okay, and this is the bronze. Let's see how this one turned out. Hopefully it's still malleable. And I'm thinking the more water, the better. Because this one is a little bit dry. I'm going to put just a squirt of water in here. Okay, three squirts. Didn't want to come out at first. Okay, that's a little bit better. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this one off. And I'm going to put a few squirts of water. Because I found... I'm going to put a few squirts of water on here before I seal it. Because I found if you... I forgot to clean up my edges. And it, I found if you put few squirts of water on the top of it, it doesn't dry out and get all solid. So, I'm sorry, I'm off camera. I'm just scraping down the sides a little bit here and making a mess because I'm good at it. Yay, me! So, there, four. Ah, eh, five, keep it odd. All right, so we're going to put this back over the top. Seal it up nice and tight. And put that back on top of there. And then, now this is the copper. And I can see metallic flecks in it, so we'll see what happens with that. I'm going to put one more squirt of water in there. Okay, three. There we go, that's better. We don't want it. We want it to peak, but not be so stiff that we can't um, manage it. I almost said manhandle it, but that we're not manhandling things here. Okay, I've got one more big one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my my membership card here. I want to show I talked about those rollers last night and I want to um, show you one of the texture rollers that I have from and I'll, I'll leave a link to them in the description box eventually I gotta find my, I, I do have an affiliate link and yes I would make a little bit of money off of it but it is a no extra cost to you just like anything I do on my page it'll be no extra cost to you you know, I, I have a PayPal pay me account, and that's if you want to chip in and help me buy some art supplies. 
Um, I have a Amazon link that is to my gift list. So if you want to pitch in and get me some of the things on that list, that would be awesome. Because art, art, art supplies get expensive and, you know, I like to eat it too. And actually, some of my food videos, that's why I haven't been making as many of them. It's because I've had to cut down on my food budget just to, so I could get to where I wanted to be. Now I'm where I want to be, kind of. So I can start adding real food to my budget or my diet. I mean, it's not that I don't eat real I actually eat probably better than most people do because I refuse to eat junk food. Okay, I say refuse, but I don't eat junk food very often. I did buy a bag of chips the other day, yesterday, at work, because I'm trying to go gluten-free, and it's very hard to go gluten-free when your vending machine does not have gluten-free options. Okay, so I just did a thin film on here. I mean, there's not hardly anything on there. I'm trying to hold it straight up so you can see. There's hardly anything on there. But I hope this will work on a foam core. I've only done it on wood before, so bear with me. I'm going to clean up this. Where did it go? Here it is. Clean up my membership card. You don't, like I said, you don't need anything fancy for this. Um, I do believe I put a link to that reminds me, I need to put a link on the challenge about the wall art. I put a, a link to the wall art in the last video. I don't think I did it for this one. So, all right, I'm going to do three squirts of water. Okay, five. Just because, I don't know, I squirt until it feels, until it feels right. Okay, so, I'm going to move these two out of the way. The computer seems like it wants to go on a race. All right, so this is one of the textured roilers. This is, I don't remember which one it is. I'll have to look it up and put it in the link in the description box. Um, and I will put it on the comment section of the post if you're coming from Facebook. So, um, but this one kind of looks like, I think it looks like cobblestone. Like if you're making miniatures, this is, or you know, small scale stuff, this would work really well for cobblestone. Um, but it's a hammered metal, looks like hammered metal. I mean, it just has a really cool texture to it. And so this is all you do. So you put your medium down, you put your roller down, and you roll. And that's all there is to it. So, and this one I have to wash in the sink because I'll be here forever if I try and do that but that one had a kind of a big peak so there is the texture so that'll be really cool and I, I rolled kind of fast you can go you can go slower and you'll get more cool effects or you can press harder and go slower I just kind of did it really light but it's got texture. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. There's peaks and valleys. So we're gonna put this one aside. And we have the black one. And I wanna do this fine uh golly, what's it called? Fleur de lis. There we go. So I'm gonna do this. It's very it's very fine. Um has very fine lines on it. So I want to see how it re how it reacts with that. So we're going to take this, put it there. 
I'm going to take a little piece of tape. Actually, I think we might be able to fit this on one of the smaller ones. Well, that is one of the smaller ones. Okay. I just cut up a bunch of foam board that I had laying around, so we're going to play around with this. Okay, and I just put a couple of pieces of tape just because it makes it easier to hold it down. Like, if I hold it here, I put it on the edges that I'm not holding. So I'll put one right there. And then that way I have, it's not too hard. To, it's not too much to pick up. All right, put that out of the way. And let's see how this black turned out. This is the, this is the, um, Metallic black, artist loft metallic black and water. Okay, so what do we look like here? Oh, this one got hard too. Oh my goodness, that's really hard. Oh, now I'm sad. Okay, so I wonder what the difference was. Maybe because I used more paint in this one. All right, we're going to chip this up. We're going to see if... Because it's not like rock hard. It's still malleable and because I'm stubborn I'm gonna do I'm gonna put more water in here and we're gonna let it sit overnight and see if we rescue these so we'll set this one aside for later and I'm gonna spray a bunch actually I'm just going to dump a bunch of water in here. Okay. And we're going to let it sit overnight or for 24 hours. Because I'll come back tomorrow on, on a live and we'll test and see how all these, the two that I got to work. <laughs> out of the four I'm kind of sad that's okay that's what art is about it's about experimentation and exploring and, and going on an adventure without even leaving your house so I'm gonna put this one here I'm gonna make sure we got it sealed up nice and tight I'm gonna burp it a little bit so there's not as much air in there okay so this one I'm making a bigger mess and this one are the two that we couldn't do tonight because they were all hard well they weren't extremely hard but they were bad enough so I've got this one I'm shaking here we go so there's that one and it, you can tell it's got texture because it's raised a bit and um the thing about this is we can take some fine grit sandpaper and get rid of the peaks or we can leave them because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this and I'm going to do an acrylic pour over the top of it and see if it pops out or what happens to it and then after I might embellish it with some gold or something like that. So that's that's the idea behind this is just to, to play with this and that's why I tried to keep these small because I need to do my lives in my office and I don't have a lot of room. So this one, we have some really cool texture and I might hit this with some sandpaper off camera when it dries tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. So we've got two to play with. That's a success. That's a success in my book. So, so, if you found value in this video, please click that thumbs up, like button. And if you like this video and like to see more and you're not already subscribed, please click that, subs that subscribe button and click the little notification bell and that will let you know when we go live on our channel or upload new content. Thanks for joining me tonight. I am gonna go to bed because 3 30 a.m. should be illegal <laughs> you guys have a great night
Peace, love, and happiness.